On April 19, 1995, Oklahoma City was targeted in a terrorist attack feet away from where we sit today, which killed 168 people and changed the world forever. If you would, please join me in a moment of silence to remember those who were killed, those who survived, and those changed forever. I would like to ask our president and CEO, guardian of the story for almost 30 years, Kerry Watkins, to the front. So honored to have Bern Targus, Justice Stephen Taylor, John Kennedy here with us. And so this week, we really do look back at how a soldier, a decorated soldier, could love his country, but hate his government so much that he could pull up a rider truck and kill 168 people. How could that happen? And could it happen again today? From the birth of our country, we have had internal tension. This memorial is a sanctuary and is sacred ground for those who paid the ultimate price when citizens use violence against their fellow citizens. That violence is something we must never tolerate. How do we come to terms with political leaders that are running for president um, disparaging the political process like that? Political process should be disparaged. We should have protests. January 6th was all about violence. We have forgotten how to disagree with one another. Disagreement and debate is healthy. You know, you had a very dramatic moment in the sentencing of Terry Nichols. He was standing in front of me with the blank, vacant look that he had. And I said this to him, you know, Mr. Nichols, the government, the constitution that you hate so much is the constitution and the government that was good enough and strong enough to give you a fair trial. They truly believed when they blew up this building that they were going to bring down the country, but what it actually did was bring people together. I really think it would be great if we could promote, promote gatherings of people that had very different opinions. You've got Republican versus Democrat, all kinds of channels that will cater to what you believe, and we're not exposing ourselves to what other people think because we're refusing to listen. One nation, indivisible. Do they want to be the one to start the rebirth of that? I believe the best is yet to come, I really do.